To make Bilby trail bars, you're going to use ratios. So you need any form of measuring device, ideally a cup, or a spoon, and some basic ingredients. Peanut butter, ground almonds, some date nectar, which is an alternative to honey, and some cocoa powder. For this recipe, we're only going to use ratios. So for ground almonds, it's four parts. I'm actually using a quarter cup for this, and it uses up pretty much one packet with a little bit left over for next time. Uh, measuring four cups. Next, we're going to add in the date nectar, and we need a half for date nectar. After this, we're going to add in the peanut butter. I tend to find the peanut butter will stick everywhere. So rather than use the cup that you're measuring everything in, I just use a large tablespoon. Also, it's unlikely that the cup will actually fit into the top of the uh, peanut butter jar. All the measurements are approximate. It's four ground almonds to one peanut butter to half date nectar. All the measurements are approximate and you can adjust it as you go along. If the mixture seems too dry, you can add a little bit more peanut butter or some date nectar. If it seems too wet, you can just add a little bit more ground almonds. And lastly, we just add the cocoa powder. You need to add one tablespoon or four teaspoons. Date nectar is an alternative to honey. You can obviously use honey, it just gives it a slightly warmer taste. Uh, but the date nectar does have the bonus of added magnesium, manganese and potassium. Nutritionally, date nectar and honey are very similar, and I've put the nutritional information for date nectar at the end of this video. And this is it, nearly finished. Nice and hard, firm. I'm just going to push it into some moulds. You don't have to, of course. You can just leave it as is, put it on a plate and stick it in the fridge. Once chilled, your trail bars should be ready to eat. Or if you place them in moulds like I have, you can give them to someone you love.